presidential elections are scheduled to take place in Moldova on October the 20th. According to a public opinion poll by the IMAS research company, the current president of the country, Maya Sandu, has the greatest support. After Igor Dodon's defeat in the 2020 elections, the Kremlin placed its bet on oligarch Ilan Shaw. But after a Moldovan court placed him on the international wanted list for financial fraud and banned his party, the politician fled to Russia. There, having enlisted the support of other pro-Russian Moldovan forces, he presented the victory bloc. But as experts note, neither he nor the bloc's candidate, Vasily Bola, have support in Moldova. Vasily Bola himself is not a figure with a sufficient rating to claim any more or less noticeable result. Therefore, I assess his chances as very low. Yes, of course, huge amounts of money will be thrown there. Yes, the entire shore network will be activated. These are several parties that will campaign for him, for Vasil Bolia. But I do not think that this will give him any chance of winning. In addition to promoting its candidates, the Kremlin is also trying to undermine trust in the current Moldovan authorities. To do this, it is spreading information that the Moldovan leadership allegedly wants to drag the country into a war and abandon its neutrality. In particular, the Russian Foreign Ministry said in early August that Moldova planned to provide its airfield for Ukrainian F-16s. Kishinev denied it. This is an absolutely obvious cheap combination when the Russian foreign ministry becomes a propaganda ministry directly involved in an attempt to manipulate public opinion in the Republic of Moldova. When the main target is Maya Sandu and the entire fifth column screams from morning till night that she is leading Moldova to war with Russia, leading Moldova to NATO, leading Moldova along the Ukrainian path, taking money from pensioners for the military of Moldova, Oazu Nantoi, member of parliament of Moldova in a commentary to Voice of America. Also on October the 20th, along with the presidential elections, a referendum on European integration is to be held in the country. It is proposed to include the course towards it in the country's constitution. The communist and socialist parties of Moldova called for a boycott, and the victory bloc called for voting against. According to the International Republican Institute, 53% of respondents are ready to vote for the country's European integration. But as experts say, it is not so much the victory that is important, but the high percentage of voters. The pro-European vector wins this referendum. The question is with what result? Because winning with 50 or plus a couple of percent is also a victory. But this is a very uncertain victory, which will give a trump card to the pro-Russian opposition, which will constantly repeat that society is split in half and you are pulling us towards Europe. Therefore, it is important to win confidently here, so that it is 70 percent and above 80 percent would be ideal but the kremlin is not limited to influencing the country's politics moscow also has an aged network in moldova in august 2023 after accusations of espionage 45 employees of russian embassy were expelled from the country also in june 2024 a criminal case was opened in Chisinau against ihor gordon the former chief of the general staff of the country who passed on information to the russian side about visits of foreign politicians to moldova and and the transfer of weapons to Ukraine. In addition, on July the 31st, Ion Krange, the head of the legal department of the Moldovan parliament, was detained as well as an employee of the Moldovan border service. They are suspected of passing secret information to the Russian embassy. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Andrei Dmitrenko, UATV News.